Hello everybody and welcome to Good Life Vibes. I'm Alexandra Coman and starting with this recording I want to announce the opening of a new playlist entitled Ouch. Actually I wanted to entitle it to, to eat them but after this I thought well them is a little bit too hard of a word so let's stick it to the Ouch. And lately a lot of ladies wrote me about a very, very uh, common topic that is how you behave and what do you have to do when he's dumping you. I'm referring precisely to the he, not to she. So how should a woman behave in the case of uh, him finding another lover, him finding another woman and taking his things, packing up and leaving you. So in this recording I am going to talk about the main things we have to do in such a situation. So enjoy and I want to underline that at the end of a uh, recording I have a special chapter dedicated to moms because it's one thing when you are dumped and you are single and you don't have any responsibilities over somebody else and that's a completely different case and there are different circumstances in case of the presence of the kids. So, let's start talking about this topic. In this chapter, I want to tell you that it's perfect, perfectly human and perfectly natural to be terrified when finding out that you're no longer into a relationship and he's leaving and he found somebody else eventually if he's, uh, he has enough courage to admit it. It's perfectly human to be terrified. It's a normal reaction to cry and I encourage you to do it a lot because crying is the perfect way of getting rid of um, stress, releasing bad energy, releasing bad emotions. You know there is the title of a book uh, that sounds like this. Emotions, the emotions buried deep down into your soul never die. And that's exactly what you're supposed to do at this point. You found out a stressful news. You, you are in a stressful situation. So your only reaction, natural and human and perfectly acceptable, is to start crying and to ask yourself why, why it's happening this to me, why I'm in such a situation, what did I do wrong to deserve such a treatment. But be careful that it's okay one day, two days, three days to cry and be miserable and be afraid and be terrified, it's fine. But the longer you stay in this uh, pattern of behavior, the more you stay trapped into these emotions, you are not going to solve a problem, but rather you are going down, to the hill, going down the hill straight into the arms of depression and anxiety. So it's fine to cry but don't stay into crying too much because it will cost you energy, it will cost you neurons, it will cost your um, the way you look and you have to switch to a positive mood as soon as possible. Now here comes the part where you you start finding him excuses and you feel guilty and you will see only the good parts of a relationship. It's like 
pouring salt open an open wound you know it's itchy and painful and hurtful and it's like you have a tendency to think that it's only your fault and your behavior um, made him run away and maybe you should talk with him and maybe you should explain things and maybe you should come to an agreement and why not giving another chance and all these things that are a big pile of baloney well in general this kind of behavior we meet in the case of a women who didn't get too much attention from the parents or the parents were too strict with you and they you always wanted to please them you want, always wanted to to make them appreciate you and say nice words to you and respect you and they didn't show it not that they didn't care there are very few situations when they don't care but there are plenty of situations where the parents just don't want to show too much affection thinking that this is the proper way of making the kids stronger and in fact they are very proud of you but they speak this with relatives or strangers or other people but they don't say to the main person to the person who needs it most and this is you so going back to our topic searching for him and finding him excuses it's, it's actually making you f feel worse it's making you humiliate yourself because just think a little bit he is leaving you for another woman this means now he has all the courage to do it and now he has all the energy to move on because he has feelings for somebody else he has feelings for another person he has big dreams about this and you show up with a very sad face and a very uh, pitiful attitude where what are you doing begging well no he doesn't deserve your bags he doesn't deserve your words he doesn't deserve your explanations you have to find the power in yourself and strength to move on not to try to convince the person who is with one leg out of this relationship to turn back you have to let him go this is a better way of appro approaching things because you know <coughs> when you try to excuse me when you try to convince him of returning you are actually turning the other woman into the forbidden fruit and he will be more and more drawn to her and she will be more appealing and more interesting and more whatever else you want to add with the more so instead of making him come closer and coming back to you you make him run into the arms of the others and if you say okay have fun go and uh, and have a nice life he will be like what i am free to do whatever it li i li want yes you are free so mm, is she so interesting actually you know the more you you try to convince him to return the more you push him towards her the more free hand you give him it's a chance a slight chance to make him reconsider but I don't want to wish you this chance because actually he doesn't deserve you. So instead of finding him excuses for his behavior and instead of feeling guilty for this, try to remember how wonderful you are, how nice you are, what an amazing asset you are for a man.
Now comes the moment when you enter on a self-destructive phase. phase. You might hide yourself into the fridge and start eating and searching for comfort food and comfort cakes and comfort ice creams and maybe you're drinking too much or doing other crazy things that lead to the weakening of your body. And um, you know what happens next after you finish a whole cake or a whole box of ice cream? You feel guilty. Definitely you will not feel better, but rather you will, will uh, feel more sorry for yourself and you will go to a routine where you will feel sorry and in order to feel better you start eating and after you eat you feel bad and you start eating again and so on so on so on and you know the consequence is that you will be in a sort of uh, self-pity, depression, uh, bulimia, eating disorder issues which will make you feel worse. Another possibility is to stop eating and to lose a lot of weight, which is also not so good because you make wrinkles and you don't look good. And you know what? Nobody cares. You have to admit that the dear ones, the people who care about you, they, they will only feel pity and they will feel sorry for you, but they will not be in your shoes, actually. They can be around you, but they can't, cannot feel exactly the same amount of sorrow you're experiencing so instead of getting fat or losing too much weight by by punishing your body you should get out and have some sport and meet some people and have fun or at least try to stay around the people so that you you don't enter depression and you don't start the self-sabotage cycle. It's also highly possible, possible at this point to get through panic attacks, to have anxiety, to feel like you're about to die, to go to hospital searching for help and nobody is blaming you that you're lying or you're pretending but it's the way your body and your mind mainly is working to and reacting in front of the fear of being dumped is the way your body is searching for attention and you might have a very bad idea to call him and to tell him that you have this panic attack and to um, ask him if he can come over and if he can take you to hospital or to visit you to the hospital, which is another very, very bad idea. Because instead of gaining his appreciation, actually you will get his pity. And trust me, nobody wants to be around sick people or people with a nervous breakdown. So with this kind of behavior, you will make him run as fast as possible. So when it comes to this kind of reactions, I specify, I clearly, clearly mention, it's not a, an act of a pretending. You're not pretending, it's your way of reacting. But I want to remind you that everything can be controlled from the mind. And if you don't allow your mind to take you into this danger zone, definitely it will not take you. So the best way to avoid such situations like overeating or non-eating or anxiety, depression, panic attacks, uh, overindulging into things, get out of a house, meet people, make friends, get to know people, interact with humans, stay away from the house. And <clears throat> if you are afraid to sleep uh, alone or you have problems with dealing with an loneliness, speak with a friend to come over to sleep to you or you go to another person to spend the night, a friend, a relative, a close friend, so you can be surrounded by people. 
at this point uh, you start asking about him in case you have a bad idea to keep the common friends around you and of course people like to gossip and they they like to spread news especially women so if you start asking about him you can have two ways of reacting first way is by being furious because he is fine and he is happy or whatever he does and the second way of reacting is about you getting depressed because again he is happy he is fine he is doing okay and this is of asking is a very 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 bad idea because the more you will ask the more answers you will get and the more likely to return to chapter 3 it is so instead of asking what he does and how he is because i assure you he doesn't ask about you um, you should move on it's hard i know it but trust me if you survived up to this point you are stronger than you imagine so stop asking people about him and how he is what he does because this is none of your business anymore he left he has somebody else to take care and to ask how he is and to care how he is you just have to look forward not to look backwards also it's perfectly human and it's a normal reaction to compulsively search for a replacement what the heck you are not planning to remain alone for the rest of your life isn't it or maybe you have your needs the hormones are running all over your body and you can find one billion excuses for searching for somebody else actually um uh, <clears throat> you have to know that it's a little bit too soon and the rule number one of the universe is you get what you are inside all the reality that you are getting around you it's the mirror of your inside of your mind of your soul of your need to change so the more you are searching and the faster you are searching for a replacement of your late relationship the more likely to find another pr person of, with problems another asshole it's much more likely to get this because you are so desperate to be with somebody that you will not care about the quality of this person and you can enter a sort of roller coaster of cause and effect disaster and more disaster and the epitome of disaster in a relationship so that is uh, a rule that says for every year of relationship you have to wait a month to to heal yourself if you had a 10 years relationship you have to wait for 10 months if you had 15 years a 15 years relationship you have to wait 15 months if you had one year relationship for each month of a relationship you have to wait for a week so if you had like five months relationship wait for five weeks and so on <clears throat> so you have to rebound with yourself you have to think of yourself and trust me the one night stand will not help you at all because the more you try this kind of escape the worse you will feel the more guilty and dirty and nervous and frustrated you will be 
because <clears throat> just think about what your subconscious will translate out of <clears throat> the one night stand. Oh, he's in a relationship, he's having fun, he's with his woman, with his new woman. And I am in such a miserable situation and in such a lame position that I have to go through one night stand. So you you deserve better. You, you are worth of more. So hold yourself and don't get to this territory. Chapter 6 is about getting to a community. Worship yourself. Remind yourself how wonderful you are. That you are a goddess. Awaken the goddess within. That's the title of this chapter. Maybe this should have been the title. You have to love yourself. You have to love your body. You have to love your mind. And try to get involved in all kinds of activities that validate you, that makes, make you feel more empowered. All kinds of activities that show that you are worth and you deserve to be loved and you deserve to love. And try to volunteer, for instance, or try to go to spa, try to get to public events you know you can check the facebook and there it's all kind it, there are all kind of events uh, announcements and you can take part go back to the tribe go back to community it will tremendously help you to discover yourself to validate yourself and to regain the trust in yourself Chapter 7, it's about a paradox, you know, the paradox of the Murphy Law, okay, what, whatever is good is uh, making you fat or using your energy, it was something like this law of Murphy, um, and in agreement with the laws of Murphy, we have this problem that you are getting back on your feet and you slowly start to recover and you slowly start to find your inner strength and you slowly start to get the energy to move on and to try new things and to get alive. And all of a sudden he is searching for you. Sometimes he is searching for you just uh, out of selfishness. To see if you're still available and uh, what mood you are into and if you're over him or not and to assure himself that in case something gets, gets bad to his new relationship he has an open door to return to you or he can search for you because he realizes that being with you it's better or maybe he got his ass kicked by the other woman or maybe he feels sorry he lost you, but what I want to underline here is be hugely careful. He will never return because he loves you. And the text that, oh, I came back because I realized I love you, it's not standing up. He left, he went, he was with another woman. And trust me when he left you he definitely was not in love with you on the contrary he, he he offended you he found you only flaws so you can't convince me that somebody who who threw you out of a boat will have pity later no what is happening in reality is that he is so selfish and self-centered that out of uh, fear he chooses the comfort zone not because he loves you but because he gets a lot of benefits out of it maybe you are more patient or maybe you make more money or maybe you clean better the house or you know it can be one billion reasons why but definitely is not because he has the feelings because if he had the feelings logically 
he wouldn't have left and if he discovered the feelings later he discovered the feelings later because the things didn't work well the way he was planning so okay it's perfectly human to return to this story but i can assure you it's just a matter of days weeks months or years till he will make you another surprise or you will have a relationship always based on fear and uh, to have the boomerang above your head that maybe he will uh, he will dump you again so astrologically and uh, strategy wise future wise do not return into this story so in this chapter i wanted to draw you the attention that somebody is trying to fool you with fake promises people don't change overnight and they don't come to epiphany and to a wow moment out of nowhere he is doing this because something didn't work according to his plan and you'll always be his second hand option by returning to you he actually proves that you are a second hand if you like the status enjoy but it will end bad and painful so these were my uh, points of view about he dumped you and what's next and now we have a special chapter dedicated to mumps so being a mom it's definitely not an easy task especially when he dumps you and the kids so you have to understand clearly that this situation it's only between you and him not between you him and the kids don't drag the kids into this story and into this war because they will be hurt and it will be very hard for them to recover emotionally because they will be torn between parents always they will be torn between parents and it's very important to have the discussions when the kids are not at home to have uh, talks when the kids are gone to school or to kindergarten or find a friend where you can send the kids overnight so you can have uh, discussions because otherwise they will be scarred forever and then they will have problems at school and problems with the attention you know when the kid has uh, attention deficit it's because they want to escape reality and they hide behind their own thoughts and you can create more and more emotional problems to your kids and they don't deserve it also try not to turn your kids into weapons against your husband or against your boyfriend there are those cases when he's trying to get out to leave the house and uh, you see the key you you the kids see your traumas and your tears and how bad you feel and they can uh, stay in front of a door and go to to hang on his leg or his hand by begging oh daddy don't leave me i will be good uh, because you know their mind translates um their mind translates his departure as a consequence of their behavior they they can't process and they can't understand that there are other reasons behind this departure so they will feel guilty they will feel bad and definitely this is not the thing you want from your kids so don't tour, turn your kids into weapons because it will always be the mirroring um, effect and sooner or later these these weapons will turn against you also um, another thing 
um, is don't call the other woman uh, to to tell her that you have a family and she's a bitch and she is taking him from you and uh, she is not playing fair and don't go there because no matter how she will say oh i'm sorry i feel it yeah yeah in the end the attraction between the two of them it will be very strong and he will be very frustrated and very nervous that you are he will translate it like you are trying to interfere between him and her and it's like you are the aggressor and he's the victim so it will not work out by humiliating yourself actually and getting into this story another thing that i've noticed is the situation when the father although he has money he is late with paying the alimony to the kids and paying the the things he has to pay for the raising of a kid so in such situation oh, i got once a, a, a letter from a woman and she said but every month i have to beg him to give me the money for the kids and to pay his debts towards the kids and although he has money he is not doing it or trying to postpone the moment so what i want to tell you is that actually this is his sweet revenge he is waiting for you to call him because this is the way you show him that you still need him and you show him that if things are going wrong or bad with the other woman, he has a place to return. Instead of humiliating yourself, you can ask a lawyer to solve the situation and maybe uh, to, uh, to get cut from the salary and that part of the salary to to go directly to the kids accounts to your accounts so you solve this situation legally or if you are not living in a country where you can do these things um, you should explain to the kids if they are at the age of understanding and the age of understanding starts with eight years old when saturn in astrology is uh, taking control so you should explain to the kids that you depend on the money of their father but the father doesn't want to pay or is not paying attention and is not your fault and you have to assure your kids that you love them and uh, without putting bad words on their father don't forget their half of their father so explain the real situation to them present them the reality and assure them that you will find a way to manage things and solve this situation and you will be present for them and you will be into their lives and you will not leave them or dump them so to continue to have faith in you but stop humiliating yourself because that's not going to work and it's very important for the kids to know the reality you know why I say this and I always said to my customers these things up to the age of eight years old the kids are like animals and I don't call the kids animals I say that they have a special instinct just think about we have genes and in our genes we have all the history of humankind and all the the, the history of survival so when our ancestors were living together with dinosaurs oh god have mercy in prehistoric times their main goal was to survive no matter what so they can grow up and they can have uh, kids and they can continue the, the legacy of a tribe and until the age of eight years old the kid is still on instinct it's not like logic but instinct and these instincts 
instinct triggers inside his mind or her mind some feelings. So if you fight with your husband and you fight away from the kid, the kid will know it. it it's something about the sixth sense. So if you try to present to your child that the situation is so nice and so okay and daddy left with work and one day he will be back, the kid will automatically think, feel, think, having his gut, something is not right here, something is not adding up and it will create the confusion between what the kid feels and what the kid is told. So when he or she will grow up this will take the toll on the relationships. So, the more you try to hide the reality and to hide your frustration and to hide your problems, the more the kid will be confused and from here it will be one billion problems. So, when, if he is playing with your needs and if he is humiliating you, just be fair, don't hide the things from the kids. Ask the help of a psychologist and learn how to express the, the, key, the things with the kids. Get specialized advice but do not hide the truth. So these were my ideas and my suggestion and okay it's a possibility for him to return and I can't tell you like in the case of the other women who were free just move on and don't look back here it depends of how ready you are to really embrace your life it's better to be free than always to be in fear that he might leave again but in the case of mothers it's whatever decision you will take it will be the best decision you can have but in general, keep in mind when people don't change and what they present that I changed is actually the fear that is talking out of them. So think well and my suggestion is don't turn back. But if you don't have a strength, there is always a solution. Remember about this. So these were my comments and have a nice day. Don't forget to like and share if you liked what I spoke here. Don't forget to subscribe to Good Life Vibes channel. Have a nice day.